Okay, everyone, I have it. I finally have it. I really do have it for real. Here it is. Ta-da! So yes, believe it or not, this is not a, a perfectly crafted pastry or anything like that inside of a inside of a, l a little keepsake box. No, this is actually an audio music listening device, the Kanye West and Kano stem player for his latest full-length LP, uh, Donda. There it is. It's looking looking cute, looking little. It's got kind of a soft, rubbery coating. <sighs> Audio jack right there, little uh, USB port, button on the middle, some buttons on the sides. Ooh, yeah, me. I've been playing with this thing for the past couple of days. I've sort of got uh, kind of a feel for it. I'm going to turn it on right now. Here, here we go. It, oh, it vibrates and it lights up. It shows you different lights depending on, you know, color grades, depending on what track you're on. Right now I'm pressing a button that's uh, sort of like scrolling. There is a whole instruction manual here that like explains all of the buttons. Between the instructions and the minimal design, it's pretty easy to get a hang of this thing really fast. So obviously this thing comes preloaded with all of the tracks from Kanye's new full-length record, Donda, and some extras as well, including that one with the uh, Andre 3000 that uh, <laughs> Drake released. Now, with this thing, as you're listening to the songs on Donda, be it through the speaker on the side, headphones or a Bluetooth device, you can turn up and down or isolate uh, certain stems on any given track. Now, you have four channels here, essentially, four different stems, as it were, even though multiple sounds and instruments may be layered up into one single stem. So there are limitations with the specificity with which you can isolate or uh, take out any given sound. Typically how the songs on this record are broken apart is one channel may be devoted just to vocals, so you can isolate to or just take out completely the vocals. One channel may be uh, just dedicated to bass, whatever the bass frequencies in the mix may be. Uh, one channel may be directed uh, toward the drums, whatever percussion may be in the mix, and then another channel for maybe the synths or a guitar, whatever uh, kind of tone or uh, chord is being uh, taken up in, in sort of the mid or high range. Like who's here when I need a shoulder to lean on? I hope you're here when I need a demon to be gone. And it's not fair to to fight them all on my own. Just the synths. We're not hearing anything else. You can rest and show it's not us. We're not even hearing that beep. <laughs> if you just want to hear the beep. It is a good beep. There are a few other fun little tricks and uh, I guess alterations that you can make to a song as you're playing it on the stem player. You can toggle a little menu here and uh, you know get, get some different colored lights that will allow you to play the track at, at a certain speed, be a fast or slow, forward or in reverse, and it allows you to loop a section of the track and adjust the length of the loop. And some of the isolations on these songs are pretty freaking clean. Like there are tracks here where you could isolate the vocal from front to back and pretty much have a super clean, crisp, Kanye acapella, or literally just the pure instrumental to any number of Donda tracks. So that's kind of the basic functionality of the stem player in a nutshell, but then there is another aspect to it that I also found even more interesting. You can load like any freaking MP3 on this thing that you want. You could put your music on it, you could put somebody else's music on it, and then after that, like, isolate the vocals out of it, isolate the drums out of it, make some minor adjustments to either the bass or keys or guitar. Now, while this is one of the most interesting aspects of the stem player, it also involves one of the least gratifying uh, processes of the player. So even though this thing has like a USB port and you can plug it right into your computer, uh, the process 
through which you would put music onto it uh, is not as simple as like plugging it in and then dragging and dropping, which I wish it was. Hopefully there is an update at some point to this thing or a piece of technology like it that allows you to do that. Uh, but no, what you have to do is plug this in and then using a browser they recommend, be it like Chrome or something else, you have to go to stemplayer.com and then there upload the song that you want to put onto the stem player. And then the website interface tells you that it's like splitting the track. And then from there, it loads it onto the stem player. And mind you, it does all of this really quickly. So it's not that much of an inconvenience, but it is more of an inconvenience considering like the quality of what comes out. Now, obviously what you're doing is like loading some random audio file to a website. And then again, it's like splitting the audio file up. It's not literally like getting access to the stems and hacking the mainframe of the song and then like placing them onto the stem player. Rather, what's happening is it sounds like the site or the stem player itself is undergoing some kind of like, you know, processing where it's EQing certain frequencies so that you can then play the song on the stem player and just like, you know, take out the vocal, take out the bass, take out the drums. Granted, it does do a pretty decent job of that, but it, it doesn't allow you to have like a super clean isolation of the vocals. Usually if I try to isolate drums in a track I've uploaded onto it, I can still hear like frequencies from, you know, other sounds in the mix. Or if I just, you know, isolate vocals, I could still hear maybe like the keys or the guitar or something like that. And the shape of an L on her forehead. So yeah, when you do try to isolate certain sounds in a, a pre-recorded song and load it onto the stem player, the quality does sound a little like whooshy and garbled depending on the track and the recording of the voice. <laughs> So yeah, in terms of uploading other stuff onto the stem player, it does have its limitations, but this is, I, I guess, an aspect of the product that I didn't anticipate it to have to begin with. So even if it doesn't do it the best, it's still kind of a bonus. What I'm hoping is that th they sort of make this aspect of the player better where they allow you to, I don't know, like download or upload very quickly and efficiently like entire Kanye records onto it. Or, uh, you know, once more, I would love for there at one point to be an adjustment where you plug it in and instead of having to go to a browser or something like that, you can simply just like drop something into it as if it's like a USB and, uh, or some kind of like storage device. And then from there, like, you know, kind of like play with or remove or add on uh, songs onto the stem player more efficiently. But outside of that, I, I think it's a really cool little thing. It's a cool little dealie. I mean, obviously like the concept of uh, stems and instrumentals and uh, being able to, you know, edit that and change that around or adjust that or experiment with that as fans has been around forever. I mean, you know, I could think of uh, plenty of examples like, uh, you know, various acapella recordings to uh, that one iPad album that Bjork dropped. So yeah, not entirely a brand new concept or anything like that, but uh, a cool and an interesting delivery method that I hope, uh, you know, goes uh, somewhere interesting. You know, I hope it doesn't just stay here. At this point, I'd say you'd have to be a pretty big fucking Kanye fan to shell out $200 for this thing. But I don't know if they go on to, uh, uh, I guess like update it or adjust it or improve it through software in some way at some point, it, it, it could most definitely be worth it. So yeah, I think I'm going to leave my thoughts there. That is uh, the stem player. Cool little thing over here. Props on the stem player. It's a cool, uh, piece of technology for sure. Let me know your thoughts if you uh, have seen them online or gotten your hands on one yourself. Uh, maybe what some of your favorite songs have been to put in it and play around with on it because I'm certainly like, you know, thinking about what tracks I can put on it to do something ridiculous.